Hello, my loves. Libra, how are you? It's so good to have you back on my channel. I am so happy to have you here. I am so excited to have you. I do want to go ahead and say thank you for joining me for your February 1st through the 15th love forecast. And um, I just seriously, you guys, I want to say thank you so much for being one of the most viewed, okay? And you guys have always been so supportive, so loving, and I do appreciate all of the love you guys have given me. And also, um, I do want to just give a big, big shout out to all of my Libras who have donated to the channel. You guys are so, so sweet, so generous, and I am speechless, so thank you. If you are new, I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message, and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium, and I do offer mediumship-based readings. You guys, those are priced down below. Also, I have all my information below if you'd like to donate to the channel. I have my cash app. I have my PayPal. I have my indie deck wish list and I have my Amazon wish list. Please check me out on my Insta. You guys, I have testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings. I have a bunch of cool stuff on there as well. So check me out. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and get the general theme for Libra. Okay. Let's get an overall message here for you and love first. Okay. Let's see what's going on. We are using the color mage oracle. Wow, Libra. Wow, my guides are saying sparks are flying and I'm having a vision of an abundant amount of gold. There's a lot of gold here in your environment. So there's a lot of divine wisdom, ancient wisdom. Okay, a divine masculine here for some, divine feminine. There's a movement in love in terms of your inner sense of abundance. There's a lot of dating here happening if you are single. Okay, Libra? I am getting raise your vibration for the theme in love for you. February 1st through the 15th, okay? So... We have mindfulness in reverse. For Libra in love for February 1st through the 15th. Libra in love. Wow. Libra, I feel like a lot of you guys have been opening doors. There's been a lot of um, opening doors trying to find your person or trying to find, you know, what feels good to you, trying to find what feels right. And I feel there's been a lot of empty doors here, doors that are not really allowing abundance and love. So the theme for you, we do have a lot of lavender. We have higher consciousness. We have your crown chakra, emotional flexibility. There's a strong connection to the seventh heavens here, okay? A strong connection to the divine with, excuse me, courageous sexuality. So Libra, wow. There's a movement here for you. A lot of you guys are really recognizing that there's a change ahead, okay? Especially with this new moon and this full moon, there's a change ahead here for you. And this change is really beautiful. The theme here for you guys, so when I look at the, the wow, you guys, the purples, they are fantastic. They are so, so, so beautiful. There's a lot of movement in the way you think about love, the way you perceive love, your, your past, your present, your future. There's a complete shift and an alteration to 
a systematic pattern in love. So if you guys have been in a cycle of dating people who have been abusive or who have been um, narcissistic or they're inconsistent or whatever negativity you have in matters of love, you are erasing it and you are growing new awareness. There's new awareness coming in for you. This is more of a download, a psychic download with all the purples here. A lot of crown chakra. So instead of seeing things from the perspective of I need to surrender my power, Libra, you are stepping into how can I give myself a sense of empowerment while I love humanity or while I love others or while I, I date, which is perfect. Here we have the star. Wow, you guys. Libra, this is a movement in itself. There's an Aquarian energy here for you. There's this general theme for you, Libra. There's a movement in terms of your dreams in love. Some of you are, you know, your spirit guide is really hard at work, guiding you in the right direction in love, showing you the way, showing you how to heal yourself. So here we have again the color golds. There's just a lot of awareness. I'm just getting a wave of awareness for you. And a lot of this is through healing friendships, building new friendships, building new connections, building, you know, a sense of you guys are manifesting someone very special in your life, whether you know it or not, and it's happening within your dreams. You guys have been focusing on an Aquarian energy or you're focusing on a Libra, on a Gemini, and you are choosing to use the air element as a way to manifest them into your life. General themes in love, Libra, for February 1st through the 15th. And the star is also about enlightenment and about there's, there's a dream. You have a dream. You have a vision about what kind of love. It really envelops the kind of love that you have or that you want in your life. And guess what? You're going to have it with that Ten of Pentacles. Look at this general energy, Libra. There is a deep focus on family, on legacy, on building wealth, on loyalty. So some of you have, you know... There's some fear. There's some fear around letting go of the past. And your guides are showing you the way. They're saying, you're dreaming of a future. You're dreaming of a legacy. And you can have it. But you have to hold a specific mentality around it. You have to hold a vision with it. Let's put that right here. Okay, so the tens are about completion. So your eye is on the prize in February and this is what you want and you shall be given and that you will have this granted for you. A part of this month is about raising your vibration for the first two weeks. Look at that. And the star is all about raising your vibration. It's all about planting positive seeds, you guys. Some of you have been in a committed relationship or you have kind of given your heart, okay, specifically to a cancer. I'm also getting a Gemini. These two energies need to be released and transmuted. So you see how we have the star here guiding your path, guiding your way, saying you have to let go. You have to release. One foot is on the earth, one foot is on the water, showing you the way that you can still be grounded and still manifest new love. So let's talk about what's coming towards you in love. 
Oh my goodness. Yes. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What's coming towards you in love, Libra? February 1st through the 15th. So I am having the vision of this beautiful portal opening itself in front of the water. So there's the water element, and then I have this vision of this light. It's this beautiful opening orb of a white, very, very illumination. It's like an illuminated um, orb here. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what else is going on. And I am getting, you know, there's a lot of hope. There's just hope for the future. But right now, your heart needs mending, Libra. Your heart, my loves. Listen, let's talk about it. What's coming towards you in love? Let's see. Wow, you are in your power. So, the Queen of Swords, you've been through a lot. You've seen a lot. The Queen of Swords is elegant, but also very poised, articulate. She knows who she is, and she's saying you're going to bring it truthfully or not at all. So a lot of you are in your power. Feel that? It matters of love. You are seasoned, and you are saying, I have my business. I have my head on straight. I got my life together. So... We are either going to do this in a very reciprocal way or not at all. A lot of you guys could have a Libra coming into your life as well, a Gemini, Aquarius. There's a lot of air element here working on your behalf, Libra, in terms of love, February, which is perfect for Aquarius season. So you may be dealing with an Aquarius. There's a lot of dreaming. There's a lot of communication. So it's like there's a manifestation through knowing what you want. Some of you guys are just in a very mature place. You're saying, I know what I want now. You've cleared out the karmics. You've worked on your self-esteem. And you're saying, I know what I want now. So, Libra and love. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, we have Libra and love, good fortune on your side, please my loves do not forget what you stir up in the earth plane goes up into the ethers and then back down. So if you guys want real love, you want true love, you have to make room for it. Destiny is bringing you a new partner to teach you. This lesson doesn't have to be karmic, but this lesson is going to bring you a lot of joy and abundance. Okay, it's going to bring you a lot of awareness of, you know, of how far you've made it in life. So Libra. Libra in love. Let's see. So we have the Nine of Wands coming up for February 1st through the 15th. You guys, Thursday is going to be a very important uh, day for you in love. You guys are getting news of something very beautiful. There's a revelation of truth in order to help you awaken to new love. This is what I am seeing in terms of my vision with the portal opening. With the Nine of Wands here... The lesson is about your, your, you know that song, um, Battle Scars, Lupe Fiasco? The lesson of needing to release your fear, release your pain in order to invite new love in, okay? The Nine of Wands is about you're fencing yourself, you're closing your, yourself off, and the Creator is giving you a chance to really give birth to new conditions through a good it's like good fortune and love, okay? You're going to see a brand new beginning, you guys. I want you to hold space for hope to really bring a lot of joy into your heart. 
and know that this is going to be your time to rise. Some of you are meeting your beloved at school. There's an educational background here, maybe law school or there's, um, I'm getting some kind of learning, maybe something around uh, the police academy, okay? So there's an educational background where you're going to meet this person. Maybe they're teaching you something. Yes. Libra, yes. Tell me it is true. It is true. Yes. Love. It's coming towards you. But you know what we say? It cannot come towards you with your hands closed, with your fists closed. If you guys are like this and you're not letting love in, then you're going to miss an opportunity of a lifetime here. I am getting this person is going to show you a lot about yourself. It's going to be a slow to start connection. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm also getting a, um, a Capricorn or a Leo. So Libra and love. This person is going to be very complimentary to you and your life. So look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh, Libra. Hello, heaven. Talk about cloud nine. Yes. Look at that. Yes. Yes. It's true love at last. Okay? But with any relationship, this is about a celebration of a new beginning. This is about connecting with someone who you have a deep, it's like, it's a profound level of compatibility here you're saying i feel it on a deep level okay there's going to be some mistrust coming in with this person and you as well but this is saying you've you've been through so much the creator is gifting you more hope so you can see that it's not all at a loss here you are winning okay you are winning my loves this is beautiful so let's keep going shall we Let's talk about love. Let's keep going. So what are the challenges in love? Because what I feel, there's going to be an invitation for an engagement. Let's get married. Um, Who's that, you guys? Jagged Edge. Let's get married. An invitation to an engagement. There's an, you know, there's an invitation for some kind of partnership that can grow into a loving marriage. Someone here is very serious about you. Okay, this is not this is not just a halfway connection. This is someone who's coming in with proper, proper um, commitment. They have really positive intentions. So, what are the challenges for Libra here? What are the challenges for Libra? So some of you guys, this is a Leo, Sag, Aries, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you have a choice between both parties. The challenge is that some of you guys are having to kind of, it's like you're, you're caught between two people, and you have to make a decision on one person, okay? The challenge is your self-esteem and how you're projecting a lot of your fear as well. Some of you have a fear of letting go of dominating the situation or control. And you do have a very powerful invitation from a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, mainly a Capricorn, who really sees a future with you. And I do feel there's an influence here. But this person needs you to kind of surrender some of this this energy of needing to be in control or needing to protect yourself, needing to overly block them out. They want freedom to start building with you because they're very serious about you. And the challenge here is that you do have a karmic or an ex who's coming into your life and they're disturbing the potential abundance. You see that? Who would you want more here? Someone who's in reverse or a masculine who's offering you a beautiful, um, 
chance at love, stability, abundance. This person is slow to warm up, so they might put you off a little at the beginning of the month. But if you give this time, Libra, you are going to see the manifestation of a beautiful connection here. But you have to see it. Give it time to manifest. This person is not the kind of energy you want in your life in February. I'm getting a lot of I just can't let you go. But I want you to ask yourself, is this the kind of love that you want? And if you are single, the challenge here is the invitation of letting go of fear of your own passion. There's a block. There's a blockage here in your masculine energy, your yang. So you're projecting a lot of your masculinity in love. It doesn't matter. You could be a man or a woman because there's a fear of letting yourself become more softer, a little more more receptive. So work on your womb energy, you guys. The womb here really needs, you know, some clearing around mother to be more receptive to love, to be more softer. Okay? All right, let's get your final advice, Libra, and see what is going on. Okay, let's see. Libra, what is your advice and love for February 1st through the 15th? Wow, you guys. Page of Pentacles. My guides are showing me a turning of a page, a turning of a chapter. Don't be afraid to invest in yourself. Don't be afraid to invest in your own future. Plant seeds. Don't be afraid to start investing in new love. So this is saying, if you're going to be online dating, don't be afraid to say, I am looking, speak your truth, I am looking for a long-term relationship. And if that's not the case, be okay with the way you are manifesting. Be okay with who you are. Be okay with your standard, with your value. This is also about the earth element, okay? Growing through Gaia. Yeah? I also will say, in matters of love, you guys, this is about taking your time, you know, um, before I let you guys go. I'm getting a lot of channeled energy here. Take your time to invest and plant these seeds wisely. Take your time to really, you know, plant these seeds so you're not um, rushing anything, so you're not feeling overwhelmed. Because Libras, you guys tend to come out of balance when you're in love. So this is saying, don't be afraid to come out of balance. I mean, excuse me. Don't be afraid to get grounded and move slow, okay? And choose your heart. 